In this video, we're going to use Euler's method to approximate the solution of a differential equation. Let's say we're going to use a simple function. Let's say y is equal to x squared. The differential equation dy dx is equal to 2x. And now let's say if we want to estimate y of 0.5, actually uh, 1.5. Now there's different ways we can do that. We can use the tangent line approximation or you can use Euler's method, which is basically a tangent line approximation, but with course correction. And that's what we're going to try to do. We'll work on another example, too, as well. But let's use this one so you can understand it. So now let's make a table. It's going to have n, x sub n, y sub n, and also the actual value. Here's the formula for Euler's method. y of n plus 1 is equal to y sub n plus h, which is the step size, times f prime of x comma y. But in this problem, the differential equation is in terms of x. So I'm just going to write it as f prime of x. Now let's estimate this value given an initial condition of 1 comma 1 with a step size of 0.1. So when n is 0, x sub 0 is 1, y sub 0 is 1. That's the initial condition. Now what about when n is equal to 1? What should we do in, in that case? Before we go into that, let's actually talk about the step size. We're going to go up to 5. Now the step size, h, is 0.1. And that's going to change the x value by 0.1. So the next x value is going to be 1.1, 1 .1, and then 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 1 and 1.5. Our goal is to estimate the function value when x is 1.5. So that's where we have to stop. Now let's go ahead and calculate y sub 1. So y sub 1 is going to equal y sub 0 plus h times f prime of x sub 0. So technically this should be x sub n in this formula. I forgot to write it, but that's n. These two have to match. y sub 0 is 1, h is 0 0.1, and then we have f prime of x sub 0, x sub 0 is 1 as well. Now we have the derivative, here's the differential equation, 2x. So f prime of 1 is going to be 2 times 1, which is 2. So this is going to be 1 plus 0 0.1 times 2, which is 1 plus 0 0.2, so that's 1.2. Now let's calculate y sub 2. This is going to be equal to y sub 1 plus h times f prime of x sub 1. So y sub 1, that's y when n is 1, that's going to be 1.2. h is still 0.1, that's not going to change. And x1 is 1.1. So f prime of 1.1, plug it into this equation. That should give you uh, 1.1 times 2 is 2.2. And 0.1 times 2.2, that's 0.22. If you add that to 1.2, you should get 1.44. So that's y sub 2. Now let's calculate the next one. It's kind of repetitive, but it's important to get the right answer. Now, I do want to make one small correction. 1.2 plus 0.22 is not 
it's 1.42. So I, I do have to fix that. Mistakes do happen. Now let's calculate y sub 3. This is going to be equal to y sub 2, which is 1.42 plus h times f prime of x sub 2, which is 1.2. So that's 1.42 plus 0.1 times 1.2 times 2. Keep in mind, f prime of x is 2x. So this is equal to 1.66. Next, let's calculate y sub 4. So that's going to be y sub 3, which is 1.66 plus 0.1 times f prime of 1.3. So 1.66 plus 0.1 times 1.3 times 2. That's equal to 1.92. And then y sub 5 is equal to y sub 4, which is 1.92, plus 0.1 times f prime of x sub 4, which is 1.4. So 1.92 plus 0.1 times 1.4 times 2, that will give you 2.2. .2. So that's our estimate of y when x is 1.5. It's approximately equal to 2.2. .2 using Euler's method. Now let's find out what the exact answer is for each of these points. We're going to use the original function y equals x squared. When x is 1, 1 squared is 1. When x is 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.1 squared is 1.21. It's very close to 1.2. Now when x is 1.2, 1.2 squared is 1.44. When x is 1.3, 1.3 squared is 1.69. As you can see, it's beginning to deviate from the actual answer. Nevertheless, it's still close. 1.4 squared is 1.96. And uh, 1.5 squared is 2.25. So the exact answer is 2.25. Our estimate is 2.2, which is close enough. So Euler's method is a very good approximation. Now let's see how Euler's method compares to the tangent line approximation. So let's write our data. So we have the point 1 comma 1. f of x is x squared. f prime of x is 2x. And we know the actual answer, f of 1.5, is 2.25. And the approximation that we came up with is 2.2. But now let's write the tangent line equation. So y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. x1 is 1, y1 is 1. So it's y minus 1 is equal to, now f prime of 2 I mean, not 2, but f prime of 1. That's going to give us the slope. f prime of 1 is equal to 2. If you plug in 1 into this equation, you should get 2. So this is going to be 2x minus x sub 1, which is 1. So let's begin by distributing the 2. So this is going to be 2x minus 2. And now let's add 1 to both sides. Negative 2 plus 1 is uh, negative 1. So this is our tangent line equation at this point. Now let's use it to estimate the y value when x is 1.5. So let's replace x with 1.5 and let's see what's going to happen. 2 times 1.5 is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. So our approximation is 2, which is not too far away from 2.25. But as you can see, Euler's method approximates the y value of the differential equation better than the tangent line approximation. And why is that? Why is Euler's method more accurate? Well, let's draw a graph. 
So here is the right side of the y equals x squared function. And let's start at x equals 1. Let's say it's somewhere over here. Now if we draw just a tangent line at this point, it's going to look something like this. As you can see, as you move away from that point, there's a big difference between these two points. But now, Euler's method is basically the tangent line with course correction. Now, after you move a certain distance by, let's say, h along the x-axis, you're going to change course. You're going to follow the slope of the line. The line is going this way. So that's what the new direction is going to be. And then again, you're going to change course. So Euler's method is similar to the tangent line approximation, but at every h value, as you move along the x-axis, you adjust the slope. And so you get a better approximation than the tangent line approximation. By the way, if you decrease the step size, decrease in h will increase the accuracy of Euler's approximation or Euler's approximation. Now let's talk about the relationship between the equation and the graph. So once again, let's draw the right side of x squared. And let's start at this point. So that point is going to have an x value, which we'll call x sub n, and a y value, y sub n. Now from that point, we're going to travel h units to the right. And then we're going to go up. So h will give us our next value. And it's going to give us the next y value, which is y n plus 1. The difference between y n plus 1 and y n is h times f prime of x. So keep in mind the formula is y sub n plus 1, which is equal to y sub n, that's a terrible n, plus h times f prime of x. So y sub n plus 1 minus y n is equal to h times f prime of x. So as you can see, this value is the difference between these two values. Or y sub n plus this value will give you that value. The slope of the line, which if you connect it from here to this uh, next point, the slope is rise over run. The rise is h times f prime of x. The run is h. So notice that the h value cancels. As you can see, the slope is given by f prime of x. So now you know the relationship between this equation and the graph. Let's work on another example. So given the differential equation y prime is equal to x plus 2y, and given the initial condition y of 2 is equal to 3, Estimate the value of y of 2.5 using a step size of 0.1. Go ahead, feel free to pause the video and work on this example. So let's begin by making a table. We need n, x sub n, and y sub n. Now our n values will range from 0 to 5. x sub n is going to start at 2, that's the initial x value, and h is 0.1, so it's going to increase by 0.1. So it's going to be 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5. Our goal is to stop at 2.5, because we want to estimate the y value when x is 2.5. So now let's use the formula to calculate y sub n. Now y sub 0 is the first y value, and that's equal to 3. 
y sub 1 is going to equal y sub 0 plus h times f prime of x comma y. So first, let's find out what f prime of x comma y is equal to. In this particular example, it's the same as y prime. It's x plus 2y. So f prime of 2 comma 3, since x is 2 and y is 3, it's equal to 2 plus 2 times 3, which is equal to 8. And now that we have this value, we could find y sub 1. So y sub 1 is equal to y sub 0, which is 3, plus h, which is 0 0.1, times f prime, which is 8. So this is equal to 3.8. Now let's calculate y sub 2. This is equal to y sub 1, which is 3.8, plus h times f prime of 2.1 comma 3.8. So f prime of those values, according to uh, this equation, is going to be x, which is 2.1, plus 2 times y, which is 2 times 3.8. 2 times 3.8 is 7.6, and if you add 2.1 to it, you should get 9.7. So y sub 2 is going to be 3.8 plus 0.1 times 9.7. So this is equal to 4.77. Now let's calculate y sub 3. y sub 3 is equal to y sub 2, which is 4.77, plus 0.1 times f prime. So f prime of xy, we need to use 2.2 and 4.77. That's equal to 2.2 plus 2 times 4.77. And that's about 11.74. So y sub 3 is 4.77 plus 0.1 times 11.74. And this is equal to 5.944. So now let's calculate y sub 4, but before we do that, let's begin with the derivative. Let's find this value. So this is equal to 2.3 plus 2 times 5.944. And that's about 14.1. 8, 8. So now y of 4 is equal to y sub 3 plus h times 14.188. And that's about 7.3628. Now let's calculate the last one. First let's find f prime of 2.4 comma 7.3628. So that's going to be x plus 2 times y. And you should get 
17.1256. So y sub 5 is equal to y sub 4 plus h times y prime or f prime. And this will give you the final answer of 9.07536. So y of 2.5 is approximately, let's round it to 9.08. So this is the answer. And so that's how you can use Euler's method to approximate the solution of a differential equation.